came across this and I have to stop. This is called Haldik Haldikish Sacred Rocks of Hunza. Halkirish is one of the earliest and most reliable source available for understanding the history of the entire region during the first millennium. Spread over four rocks, thousands of graffiti and petroglyphs. Names, title, dates, formulas, and design is Bacterian, Haroshti, Sogitian, Tibetan, Chinese, and Brahmi scripts reveal the diverse linguistic and geographical origins of visitors and travelers Why Hunza. They highlight the important role the Hunza Valley played as a transit point for cultural exchange on one of the ancient silk route networks. The site is broken down into four rock areas and each has a separate description. Let's see. Okay, this is what it is. Let's get to the... I need to hurry up. I, I want to get out of rain. I mean, it seems like it might rain and then if it rains, I'm in trouble. Okay, there it was. The first one was that one, okay? Whatever I read was about that rock over there, okay? I'm gonna get it to you back and uh, on camera. Now, this is another one, this rock. It's rock two. Most of graffiti and petroglyphs. Sorry for the mispronunciation. Anyways, on this rock appear near ground level on the southern side of this rock and on a large boulder on its south southwestern corner written in Brahmi on the proper no sorry on the large boulder on the western side of this rock is a Buddhist proper name Buddha I mean however you pronounce it Buddha whatever it is protected by Buddha uh, the rock also carries the inscription in Gupton script like Brahmi Script Chandra Sri Vikramaditya conquers with the date corresponding to 419 AD. Chandra Sri Vikramaditya was the greatest of Gupta emperors who ruled over most of the Indian in the early 5th century. Let me see where is all the writings. I don't know where's the writings. Maybe somewhere. <laughs> Let me see if I can go on the other side. Oh, the other side is really scary. <laughs> this is the other side, and I don't want to get in trouble. I don't know if I can climb this rock. Let me see. Let me bring you something interesting. I saw something on this other rock there. Oh, yes. I see it. Okay, this rock is. I think they were talking about this rock or something. Because it's, uh, it's fenced. I need to go down.
big between rock 2 and rock 4 one of the inscription is so This rock is predominantly covered in the simple drawings of the ibexes and goats, hence the name of the rocks, Halikish or whatever, in the place of many male ibex. Ibex is extremely favored animal for the inhabitants of Funza, who to this day perform ritual ibex dance in the times of Shamansam. I'm sorry, a holy man would usually wear the head of an ibex and after falling into deep trance would proceed to tell fortunes and answer questions about the future <sighs> okay I guess that's enough for now I need to hurry up before I lose my bike <laughs> <laughs> This rock contains many inscriptions on, it, on its eastern side where conditions have protected inscriptions from extreme weather conditions. A lot of these inscriptions on this rock are in Horoshti and include names of Buddhist pilgrims and merchants from as early as the year 8380. It also has a portrait of a Kushan king in Central Asia dressed with the name Gondof or whatever, written in Horoshti. So, I don't know how. on my bike you guys take care hope you guys enjoyed my small historical documentary kind of video <laughs>